Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back, and we are going to be talking about the workout from the other day. So, this was done on the 10th, and it was weighted dip plus reverse grip rows. I'm going to pretty much just give a brief explanation of each exercise, and then I'd like to leave time to talk about a couple other things. So, I got to the gym. And I went to the stair climber as just an alternative for the cardio warm-up. And I did a very simple 16 flights, which took 5 minutes and 14 seconds, at a speed level of 5. From there I went to the dip station. I began with a set of 10 with just the body weight, and then a set of 6 with 25 pounds. And then for working weight, I went to 52.5, so just a little bit of an increase from last time. And that was for the 10 by 3, 90 seconds of rest in between. Very easy sets, very easy reps. You're going to notice a significant pause at the bottom as well as the lockout. Even on top of that, I slowed down the reps and just did it with more control and just getting as much as I could just because they really did feel easy. And so I tried to just maximize what I could get from each rep. So that's why you're seeing the pauses, the longer pauses than usual, and even stoppages for the lockout and just a slower tempo in general. Now, for the accessory, I did a pushdown, a rope pushdown, and I don't think I've done a pushdown, a tricep pushdown since 2018. Definitely 2017, but I would go so far as saying 2018 was the last time I put any kind of focus or attention on not only a tricep extension, but especially a pushdown. Not that it's bad. It's just that from a programming standpoint since then, I just either didn't have room for it or just preferred other options. So I figured why not make a comeback to the pushdown. And I did a very, very easy set of eight with 40 pounds and then a three by eight with 50 pounds. So for dips, very comfortable. The pushdown was just a nice change of pace. And I even did a bonus set. So spoiler alert, I did a bonus set of dips. And a couple reasons for that. One, I usually tend to do extra sets with pulling movements. That's just coincidence. I'll normally do an extra set of rows or two or an extra set of deadlifts or something like that. So I figured, why not do an extra set of a pushing or a pressing movement? And so I decided to do an extra set for the dip, especially since they were just going so easily that I figured, why not? Get a little bit extra stimulation, get a little bit of extra work for it just because I could, and these were really easy. They were really, I could pause for a lot longer than that, but they were definitely easy. Now, I am dedicating this entire workout from start to finish to all the women who were in the gym lifting, stretching, doing anything really, and they always serve as a big motivation for me and inspiration really to be better and also they use good form and technique now I'm not gonna say that every single one has ever that I've ever come across does but in general in my experience and I'm only speaking from my experience the women tend to lift with better form than men in my experience now other people may have different experiences but in my experiences with a lot of the gyms that I've worked at over the years women tend to one lift with better technique because they're not worried too much about progressive overload in the form of weight amounts but also they also tend to be a more open and willing to learn so I've had clients in the past who just put their trust in me as a trainer to teach them correctly and not pretend like they already knew something but rather just see what I have to say and try things out for themselves and make a decision so it really is nice to see that because something else that I will talk about is the fact that they kept me focused they kept me driven and they kept me from getting distracted and I'll even go as far as saying annoyed <laughs> by the spectators and so there's a group of guys especially who have a really strong tendency of just spectating and watching a lot. And yet the funny thing is, is that 
most of them, I'm not going to say all, but definitely the majority don't have good technique, don't have good form, and are using weights that they shouldn't be using. Simple as that. So imagine the dichotomy. So I'll talk a little bit more about that after the rows, but basically the women kept me in not only a good motivated driven state and focused state, but also kept me from just getting distracted. They kept the mood elevated and kept me in a relatively good mood just because I could see it. I could feel it that the spectators were just kind of watching and just you would think that that would might actually get them to start lifting correctly, but it, it's never the case. It's just not. So, so there's that. Now, here's the bonus set. And yes, you're reading that correctly. Bonus set for the crush. Nice big set of motivation right there. And, and I could, just because I could. So, dips, just fine. Very, very easy, very comfortable. And then for the rows, I did... A warm-up set of 10 with 135 then from there I went to a set of 6 with 185 which wasn't necessarily planned but I did want to throw in a mid set before getting to working weight and for the 10 by 3 I just used 200 pounds so just a slight increase from before from 195 to 200 for triples and they were also pretty easy very comfortable and Really, there's not a whole lot else to say about it other than these reps are absolutely grand. They're 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 perfectly fine. They're good. Uh, the back position was great. Technique felt fine, and it's an easy weight. So this is not a heavy weight for me, and it shouldn't be, especially at this early on in the program. And even for the volume sake, this is, should be almost a no-brainer, and it more or less is. So. The rows went just fine, just did the prescribed 10 sets, and that's more or less that. For the accessory, I went to a hammer curl, and I used the same rope attachment that I used for the pushdown and the same pulley station. I just stayed in the same spot and basically just brought the pulley down and just used the rope for hammer curls, which I think I did in 2018, but it's, it's definitely been a long time. I stopped doing curls right at about early to mid 2018 I believe was last time I ever did really any curling and so this program does call for it and and I have thought about working around it but I figured why not just put one in here and there and just go with it so I did a set of eight with 40 pounds and these weights are identical by the way with the push down so a set of eight with 40 as the warm-up and then a three by eight with 50 pounds and believe me that was that was fine for working the brachialis and the brachioradialis that was perfectly fine and especially at that point in the workout now here's the other thing I wasn't done <laughs> I should have been done I was supposed to be done but at that point the environment changed at the gym and then a whole lot more women showed up and some of the guys were starting to taper off and leave so of course I got a, a an afterburn and just felt like okay let's just do more <laughs> and so I did a, a hang power snatch with 45 pounds for a triple and then I did a power snatch with 95 pounds for a 3x3 three three, and then power clean plus power jerk for a 3x3 three three with 145. Alright, adopt, don't 